Welcome guys and we're gonna check out Summon Dragons over here on Idle Games TV. Now this is gonna be an idle game and obviously it's going to be with dragons, right? I mean obviously. Now you're going to have a lot of fun in this game. So if you hadn't tried it, give this game a try. So you're gonna have the battle mode, obviously you're going to have only dragons depending on the factions, water, fire and so on. You're going to be able to put up to six heroes, I was going to say, up to six dragons in your team in order for you to fight the enemy. Obviously you're going to have the campaign mode and so on. So this is going to be a boss, so we're going to kill him a bit, but most probably I'm going to get my ass kicked due to the fact that I have tried to fight with him. Uh, you're going to see that different kind of levels with your, where you're going to encounter the boss are going to be re, uh, not, but harder, more harder than the previous ones and obviously more harder than the next ones. So you're going to need to focus on those in order for you to kill the boss. Let's hope that right now, um, come on man, please die, please please okay so see you died okay so as i mentioned this one had the power up to 71k if i'm not mistaken right now i'm going to move to my next chapter so over here as you can see chapter number six if you have played it and reached further drop a comment to let us know if it's worth it really really cool game i didn't play it that much but honestly decided to give this game a try and decided to show you guys so over here as you can see right now my enemy has 64k damage so lower than the previous boss so as i mentioned you do need to try a bit to fight the boss you can change the formation of your heroes in order for you to see if you can find an advantage or not it will not cost you anything so don't forget that you're going to be able to change it and obviously try to put in the front some fighters basically some tanks in order for you to be able to take the damage to have an absorption basically in order for you not to put your mages or your support uh, dragons in front because those are going to get killed the first time so you do not want to do that now i'm not gonna go into a fight anymore you're going to have the fast reward obviously if you're going to use gemstones you're going to get even more and more rewards you're going to have the arena obviously you're going to be able to fight with other ones and so on depending on uh, your rank obviously you're going to be able to get a lot a lot of things they kicked my ass quite a lot over here so let's jump over here into a fight oh no 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 no! i have my lowest team over here that's why okay so i'm going to uh, put my best uh, let's say dragons over here i'm going to try to put the ones that can take the damage in front and i was able to skip the battle but i forgot about that option so don't forget you're going to be able to unlock the skip option for the battle at least in the endless tower that you're going to find in all the other games you're going to be able to skip some battles in the campaign mode you're not going to have that option but the game is quite interesting to the fact that offers you the possibility to let's say go a bit with your summoner as well so you're going to have a chick basically your summoner the the dragon summoner and you're going to go in different kind of caves different kind of dungeons so the main character which you can see over there the chick over here this one uh, obviously you can change the avatar a bit over here but it doesn't matter so you're going to over here in the mysterious portal and you're going to enter over here you're going to battle and this is where you're going to encounter different kind of bosses so right now i'm going to fight the boss in this maze but you're going to be able to move a bit with your chick so you're going to be able to choose between a lot of things even to fight or not to fight with different kind of monsters it's up to you but my idea is that you're going to need to fight quite a lot due to the fact okay so i need to revive which one everyone it doesn't matter but please don't tell me that all of my dragons are dead please please don't tell me that okay in battle okay cancel let's see if i'm going to go over here ah okay so i'm good okay so my enemy is weaker than me so i'm going to fight the boss afterwards i'm going to be able to unlock the chest and from those chests obviously i'm going to get a lot of rewards watch out over here because you're going to need a lot of keys with those keys you do want to collect them and if you're going to encounter a shop in this uh, dimension over here you do want to buy all the keys that you can put your hands on because uh, in some of the mazes at the end you're going to encounter a lot of chests so if you didn't bought the the keys in the previous levels you cannot go back that quite sucks believe me now over here you do want to watch out which of those runes you're going to collect 
and next time you're going to encounter them please pick up the same runes okay because that's how you're going to be able to use them now every time you're going to need to unlock it over here you're going to go you're going to use your hand over here basically to unlock those chests uh, this is quite interesting uh, as i mentioned due to the fact that you do not see this thing in most of the idle rpgs and here it is i have summoned this dragon and i can make a powerful wish so i want an epic dragon i want power equipment i want mysterious portal coins hmm i want an epic dragon i have powerful equipment mysterious coins you're going to have dragons okay so we're going to go for the powerful equipment let's see what i'm going to get okay fist mark come on dude i tried okay legendary egg okay so you're going to be able to put some eggs for hatch so every time you're going to go over here in this portal as you saw it over there you're going to be able to collect up to seven let's say balls of fire and that's how you're going to be able to summon that purple dragon that dragon is the one that you will uh, encounter every time you're going to start the game basically at the start of the game now over here i'm going to be able to choose between the summoning uh, altar in order for me to get a new pet or to try to fight so i'm going to go for a fight uh, you cannot skip these battles over here uh, you're going to need to advance even further in the campaign in order for you to skip these battles but most probably you're going to be able to kill and kick their ass really, really fast because they're not that strong at least at the beginning i mean now the fights are quite the same don't forget over here to choose the better ones in order for you to have the better boosts some of the options over there don't require you to have the runes i'm going to exit this uh, portal over here in order for me to show you other things as well the gameplay over there in the mysterious portal goes the same you're going to have the bounty board basically over here you're going to send your dragons in different kind of missions it's not going to be that hard the trial spire over here now basically this is the endless tower where you're going to be able to fight uh, you're going to be able to skip this battle so right now i'm going to lose i know that i'm going to lose but due to this fact you're going to be able to change your dragons over here as i mentioned don't forget just ah come on i forgot to skip the battle but uh, every third round you're going to be able to skip the battle if you're not going to have the skip option open don't forget about that but as you can see they are quite quite kicking my ass I'm going to need to upgrade my dragons a bit, quite, quite a lot, in order for... Oh, I'm going to win, see? And a simple changing of position. And obviously, almost forgot, you're going to have an advantage if you're going to jump into the battle and not decide to skip it. So don't forget about that. Right now, this is quite hard, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to upgrade my dragons over here. So let's go for this one, for example. I'm going to hit auto equip i put the better thing on him okay let's go for you and let's go and level you up so i know that this one is better than the previous one because this one i have uh, made him from a lower one now guys if you have played this and reached further than me please drop a comment and let me know in the comments below how further did you reach honestly an interesting uh, interesting game definitely a game for you to try uh, if you have played it please drop a comment let me know as you can see over here didn't play that so much but definitely you need to try this game if you hadn't had yet uh, let me know in the comments below if you want more content regarding this game a lot of events really really interesting game so honestly not so many games with dragons so definitely you do want to give this game a try if you're a fan of dragons i mean and uh, definitely this game will keep you playing as i mentioned because you're going to advance in the vip here it is and i'm going to get some shards obviously from those shards i'm going to be able to summon a lot of things and so on now let's go in the village part and here it is now you're going to have the summoning shine over here going to be able to summon some uh, heroes over here uh, faction summons i'm going to use these ones so i got those eggs from the redeem codes so don't forget about the redeem codes they are not so hard to find you're going to find them on google so don't bother uh, as i mentioned just a simple google search and you're going to go in the settings over here you're going to hit redeem code over here and you're going to enter it over here so uh, i'm going to try one code in order for me to see if it's working here it is let's see if it's working 
so here it is 10 cards definitely quite cool now don't forget that you're going to be able to evolve your uh, pets over here obviously i'm going to evolve them all uh, if you're going to evolve them you're going to see that they are gaining even bigger and bigger and bigger and that's how you're going to be able to here it is change their appearance basically so this one got changed okay continue to evolve and i do not have any more okay that's it for this one now don't forget you're going to have the dragon nest over here and you're going to put some eggs you're going to have only four slots so you do want to watch out who you're gonna match depending on which dragons will you match up here you have different kind of probabilities 50 50 100 and so on to get a specific faction so it's not gonna be that hard of a game the tree of life you're going to have the leaderboard the tree of life over here guys uh, basically you're going to be able to reset the level over here uh, and uh, you're going to see which of your dragons you're going to basically retire from the action okay it's not gonna be a hard of a game you're going to have friends a lot of friends so please try to get as many friends as you can in order for you to do some friendship summons don't forget about the daily quest as i mentioned a lot of things that you're going to be able to collect from here if you're going to play it daily please believe me it's an interesting game definitely didn't saw so many games with dragons so definitely summoning dragons is quite quite an interesting uh, game for me uh, I will try to play it as much as I can the dragon treasury over here you're going to find a lot of things and obviously afterwards you're going to come over here and collect and you're going to find basically some relics and are going to offer you permanent bonuses and so on let's go back in the field now as I mentioned you're going to go in the arena fight different kind of bosses and so on didn't unlock everything over here but definitely I do want to see uh, how this game will go so if you have played it and reached further drop a comment let us know in the comments below how far did you reach let's hope that this was useful and if you will decide to play it let us know how further we we'll reach in this game until next time guys take care don't forget to subscribe don't forget to do some summons because if you're going to have the gemstones what's the best thing to do do some gemstones over here at least for me this one worked so i'm going to consume over here 10 more and we're going to do it, uh, 20 summons over here so let's see okay open okay nah, not the best ones that i could get my hands on but let's see come on and yes yes a good one over here and this one is blade okay whatever dude and he's a tank so definitely i need to use him a bit now guys, until next time, take care, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget about your shards, don't forget to mix them, oh, so here it is, I have found another relic, and so on. Now guys, be safe out there, don't forget to subscribe, as I mentioned, drop a comment with other other games that you want to see over here on my channel, and please be safe out there. Bye.